Hello everyone, welcome to week 5 of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering throughout this week. First, let's look at the names of the lessons that we plan to cover. So, the first lesson that we're going to start with this week is culture and society. Then we'll move on to cultural diffusion, economic basics and government, and trade and development. So now we're delving into things that tell us more about each country and region that they're in. We're looking at the interactions between the humans and members of society that it is composed of and how that defines them as unique and different from those around them. So we'll also be looking more into how languages, religion, and the arts express culture. This is a very important question because you will find aspects of your own identity reflected as we explore these countries and regions. We are going to be looking at the features of culture and exploring their absolute location and their relative location when compared to other areas. So we'll be looking at a photo gallery that'll help us kind of break down not only traditional clothing of different cultures, but how different aspects of what we wear, how we speak, and how we interact with one another reflect the values that define our culture. So we'll also be looking at how structures, how societies are structured and how these cultures change over time. When we look at the economics, we're going to be looking at the five different activities that define it. So those things will help us understand what kind of goods and services should be produced according to the region that we're looking at. When we look at trade and we look at culture, we'll also be touching again on urbanization and how these people make decisions to move from one area to another and how this affects them in the values or the beliefs that they choose to mix with their original ones. So once we do delve into that, we're looking at the theme of language and diversity and the positive and negative effects of cultural diffusion. I think that you guys will really like the lesson on cultural diffusion because it will help you see how our identities aren't constrained to one viewpoint or one particular set of values, but rather a mix of various things, especially that we attend a modern American school, which helps us kind of encompass this global awareness or embrace a global perspective that is defined through multiple facets of different cultures and different beliefs. So, as mentioned, what is trade? Explain how and why trade takes place between countries. We're going to explore examples of products that are exchanged between countries and why they're significant. So we're going to be looking at having, um, we're going to be looking at world trade and if it's fair or not. Definitely, definitely, we will be exploring maps because we're used to looking at the visual aspect of things and analyzing maps to um, extract information from. So these color-coded maps for world trade will help us look at where there is trade the most according to region, um, why the reason is to that, and which countries are still called underdeveloped countries, right, or underdeveloped regions. Then we're going to have an interactive activity where you guys look at the countries and you think of where each product comes. This will help you kind of have a you know, it'll help broaden your horizon in terms of what products are created in certain areas and why they're important. You'll also be looking at Jordan and what we produce and how other countries benefit from that and what we get in exchange for that. Um, also, we'll look at which countries have more of an advantage in producing and selling as well. And let's take a quick look at some activities that we're going to take part in. 
So this one is one that you're super excited for. It's the Cultural Clothing Gallery Walk, where you guys bring in a item from your home that depicts or that is super meaningful to you in expressing a part of your culture. Um, then we have the Identity Profile. That one is under the Cultural Diffusion Lesson and Supply and Demand Country Marketplace, where we'll take part in a role play um, where and everyone will be designated a specific country for them to kind of um, present and convince others as to why they should buy their product or why they should engage in trade with them as a country. And that's basically it. That was a quick synopsis. Of course, we'll go into more detail. If there are any changes, you'll see that reflected in the other week's um, weekly video. Or if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me through my email or through the BC message app or in person as you guys are used to. And that's it. Have a great rest of your week.